Hi there, I'd like to show you the find command. It's a very useful command for finding uh, files or directories or symbolic links or hard links. The nice thing about the find command is it's very flexible, both in terms of the information you can pass in to narrow your search, as well as uh, very scriptable, so you can do a lot with the output. And in fact, uh, the find command itself has the ability to run a command based on each item that you find. So I'll show it to you. The find command is just find. Yeah, you can search in a directory, so say for instance if you wanted to search in slash temp, you could search, search in slash temp and it would find all the files and directories. If I just hit enter, it would be to find all the files and directories in slash temp. If I wanted to search in, say, user lib, for instance, that would work there. I'm just going to search in this directory tree, because I've, I've set up a little example to demonstrate a few useful scenarios and use cases that you might learn from. In this case, I want to find a couple of OG video files, OGV files. I can do that with the dash name parameter and specify star.ogv for uh, wildcard, anything ending in .ogv. If I hit enter, you'll see I found two of them. Now, I purposely named them both file I want, .ogv, and in, in both directories. Uh, this might be a directory backup. You might have uh, one backup from today and one backup from yesterday. So if I want to search based on date, I can use the m time parameter, uh, m time zero to specify today. And you'll see I can find the file that I was working on today. If I specify one, you'll find the file I was operating on yesterday. If I don't want to narrow it down based on date and time, such as uh, m time, there's other other parameters as well. Uh, I can say max depth. Say, for instance, I don't want to go uh, more than three directories deep into the tree. There may be uh, other files that might match my criteria, but I don't care about them. I'm just interested in the ones in the first three directories. So I can say max depth three, and it'll only go down three directories deep. I won't see the one in level four, for instance. Now, I can find, going back up here, I can narrow my search based on file type. So if I want to see the, the directories, I can hit type D. If I want to see the files, I can hit type F. Or I can look for symbolic links or hard links or other attributes. I can also look for the owner uh, group and uh, permissions. I won't show that in this demo today, but maybe I'll do it in a subsequent one. If you're interested, there's a lot of information in the man page. So it's very easy to, to read and uh, to learn from. What I'd like to do is show you one more example just before we wrap up. You might want to do something with those commands, those files that you found. So I'm going to find my OGV files again. I'm going to use the dash exec parameter here to specify a command I want to run. I want to check some of them. Now, the way this works is you pass in the curly braces to specify the file names or directory names or whatever the item is that you found. So what will happen is that find will rerun this command, ckSum in this case, for each file or directory that it finds, uh, substituting it in for the curly braces. And then the backslash semicolon tells it that's the end of the command. So if I wanted to do something else with it, I could keep typing, just uh, put the backslash semicolon at the end. Okay, and so what this will do is check some all of the file, the OGV files that it finds in the current directory. There we go. So uh, you can see one of them happens to be empty, and this the other one happens to be uh, have some content uh, in it as well, and that happened to be the one I was working on today. I hope you find this at least somewhat useful. If you do, uh, please check out our other videos in YouTube and Vimeo and uh, uh, other areas online, as well uh, check out our website at fossilc.org. F-O-S-S-L-C dot O-R-G. Thank you.